Good afternoon. Uh, this is very exciting. Um, first of all, I want to thank Salfi, Susanna, Silva, and USC Institute of Army Studies for organizing this uh, amazing festival and bringing Army and world together to think and co-create. Um, actually, I have, uh, I, I have a PowerPoint slides, but OK. All right. um, today, I'm going to talk about the impact of um, all right. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the impact of um, Getronagan Armenian High School uh, in finding my Armenian identity and my ident uh, and my um, uh, Basically, Basically, I will talk about my personal uh, personal story. Uh, this is not an academic academic talk, so uh, I will introduce my personal story. Um, I was born in Istanbul, 1989. My grandfather, uh, together, with his, uh, uh, together with his brothers, migrated from Sivas, Sepastia, in late 1960s uh, from Sivas to Istanbul uh, to protect their Arme Armenian identities. Uh, because in late 1960s, no Armenian families remained in Sivas, so they migrated to Istanbul. When I was born in 1989, no one was able to speak Armenian in our, in our apartment, in our house. Uh, not my mother, father, grandfather, grandmother, none of them. So my um, mother, mother language is Turkish. And I cannot forget uh, the very first day of elementary class, uh, the teacher approached me in uh, Dadian, Armenian elementary school. The teacher approached me and asked, uh, Anunut Inche, what's your name in Armenian? And I started crying because I didn't know anything about Armenian. I didn't know any, any word in Armenian. And I just said, uh, can I go to my brother in Turkish? Because uh, he was in third class, and he was able to speak Armenian at that time. So I thought perhaps you know, he could give an answer to my, to my teacher. Um, here, I don't have time to talk about uh, education system in Armenian elementary schools in Turkey, in Istanbul. But I want to give you a very brief, uh, brief uh, example to illustrate the situation. Uh, I, cannot, I cannot forget uh, each Monday and Friday, all the students uh, in the school standing in the hall and uh, vowing the, uh, the address of Atatürk to uh, Turkish youth. And uh, it was mandatory. And uh, I'm quoting, and the first sentence of this address is, I'm quoting, you, Turkish youth, your first duty is forever to preserve and to defend the Turkish independence and Turkish Republic, Atatürk Gençliği Tavis in Turkish. Uh, it was mandatory. And um, uh, uh, I don't remember that, I mean, we, we didn't learn any, for instance, Armenian patriotic songs uh, in elementary school. Uh, we didn't learn anything about Armenian history, Armenian culture, or Armenian literature. Uh, it was all, uh, you know, prohibited uh, by, by the Turkish government. Um, uh, before moving my Getronagan years, I want to give you a very brief information about, uh, about the regulation of Armenian schools in, in Turkey, in Istanbul. Uh, according to the current regulation, you cannot teach uh, Armenian history or uh, Armenian culture in Armenian schools in Istanbul. I mean, it's bizarre, I know. Uh, they are all Armenian schools, private schools, but you cannot teach Armenian history and Armenian culture. The only thing you can teach is uh, Armenian, uh, Armenian language and uh, Armenian literature. Uh, but while teaching Armenian literature, uh, for instance, you cannot say anything about while reading the text of Greek or Zorab. You cannot say anything about how Greek or Zorab died. Or you cannot say anything about uh, how Yervant Odian suffered in the, in the deserts of Syria. Um, you can teach Armenian literature, but you cannot say I mean, anything about Armenian history. Um, uh, so, uh, I graduated from Dadian in 2003 and uh, became a high school student um, at Getronagan. This is Getronagan Armin High School in Istanbul, uh, in the Karakuri neighborhood of Istanbul. Uh, so, what's the difference of Getronagan? Uh, when I first step, uh, when I first take uh, the first step uh, in the building of Getronagan in 2006, 
2003, sorry, I started to feel the difference because Getronagam provided an Armenian environment. Uh, there were lots of um, extracurricular activities in which we, we had the opportunity to improve our Armenian language skills and, you know, uh, we, we had the chance to read Armenian history and Armenian culture. Uh, first, I want to answer how Getronagam teaches uh, Armenian language. Getronagam teaches uh, Armenian language, uh, not only in Armenian language class or literature class, but also in biology, chemistry, physics, um, psychology, uh, etc. Um, this is Getronagam in 19, 1904, uh, Getronagam in 1930s, and this is a biology class note in Armenian. Uh, I, I don't know whether, I mean, uh, in diaspora Armenian schools in US or in Europe, uh, I don't think that the language of instruction is in Armenian in these class, classes. Um, <coughs> uh, this was nice for, for students because we improved our Armenian language skills. We had discussions in, you know, uh, in bio biology class and we, we, we learned the uh, terminology, uh, biology terminology in Armenian. And this is a math class note, again in Armenian. Um, in terms of teaching Armenian language, yes, Getronagam perhaps one of the best institutions in Istanbul, no doubt. Uh, on the other hand, teaching Armenian language and teaching Armenianness, Armenian identity, are two different things. Um, in my opinion, in a country in which you cannot, uh, you cannot teach Armenian history and Armenian culture, that means you cannot fully teach Armenians and Armenian identity. Uh, perhaps other students might have different uh, experiences, but uh, here is mine. When I was in, uh, in an Armenian literature class, I asked, my, uh, I asked my Armenian teacher, like, why all these Armenian intellectuals disappeared in 1915? Why all these Armenian intellectuals died in just one year? And uh, she, was, she was like, you know, there was a war uh, in the Ottoman Empire and uh, they died during the war because it was prohibited. Uh, she couldn't tell anything. So this, uh, so I started to ask questions. And uh, when I graduated in uh, 2000, uh, 2006 from Getronagan, uh, I started to ask these questions about Armenian history and Armenian culture. In 2007, uh, 2007 is a turning point uh, in my personal story because in 2007, Ranting, an Armenian journal, was killed uh, in Istanbul, was murdered uh, in Istanbul uh, by a Turkish nationalist, and uh, hundreds and millions of people uh, marched in the streets of Istanbul, uh, crying, we are all Armenians and we are all uh, Ranting. And, um, a movement was started within the Armenian youth in Istanbul. Uh, you know, many students wanted to learn Armenian history, Armenian culture. And I wanted to be an engineer, but I changed my mind in 2007, and uh, I, I wanted to study Armenian history. And uh, in 2007, I, I started uh, uh, the Department of Turkology at uh, Istanbul State University to learn Ottoman language, uh, to read uh, archival, uh, archival documents. And in the meantime, I volunteered at Aras Publishing House. Many of you may have heard Aras Publishing. It publishes a book uh, related with Armenian culture history in Istanbul. And uh, I volunteered uh, at Aras Publishing House. Sometimes I carried books on the streets of Pera. Sometimes I was a salesperson. And sometimes I also did uh, academic work. Uh, by the way, I was uh, at um, 18 year old, years old at that time. So I translated two books uh, from Ottoman Turkish to modern Turkish, an anthology of Armenian literature, 1913, and uh, 1909 Adana Massacre's uh, three reports. Uh, in 2012, I got accepted into the Department of History of Boğaz University, where I, I had the chance to write a thesis on Ottoman Armenian community. And 2014, I started a PhD program, a PhD program of uh, Oxford University, uh, Armenian Studies, Oriental Studies, uh, where I'm currently writing my uh, thesis, PhD thesis on uh, post-genocide um, post Armenian community in the Ottoman Empire, mainly the years 1918-1923. Uh, I will say that uh, my curiosity about Armenian history and Armenian culture uh, and Armenian started in Getronagan. Getronagan gave me a puzzle uh, filled Armenian language and uh, literature part 
but uh, history and you know culture part was empty. And I, I wanted to fill that puzzle afterwards, after graduating from Getronagan. And I will continue to do so. And I'm sure that Getronagan uh, will educate young, uh, young Armenian generations in Istanbul in the future. Um, I want to conclude with a very uh, personal story. Um, the, man, the man on the left, the man on the left uh, is my um, uh, grand grandfather, uh, Sefastasi. Um, in 1915, in, in June, I guess, 1915, uh, he was returning from, from the farm to his village and saw that uh, Turkish gendarmes, military personnel, uh, taking his uh, three kids and his wife. He didn't do anything, he couldn't do anything, he was alone, and uh, he somehow managed to uh, hit in the village. So then he hid in the mountains for two years without food, without shelter, without clothes, without money, and then uh, managed to survive. He returned to his village in Sep uh, Sepastia Sivas in 1920s and married with an Armenian man, uh, ah, sorry, <laughs> Armenian woman uh, who was 10 years older than him. Um, because uh, she, was, she was the only Armenian woman remained in the village and he accepted to you know, get married uh, with her. And they had six children and my uh, grandfather is one of them. Um, when, when I look at this photo, this, uh, photo uh, I see only one thing, one thing struggle. He continued to live, he survived, and then he uh, built uh, a new Armenian family, had six children. And, uh, and for me, being an Armenian means uh, struggling and uh, never uh, giving up. Thank you.